Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for the raid, Beanie. <laughs> Seems we're going to sh close up shop right after I left. <laughs> what the um, heck? Hello, Beanie. It's been a while. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, oh. uh, welcome to Showcase Sunday, where we try out a few games for later streaming, and we're trying this one again because it malfunctioned last time. So is it going to behave this time? <laughs> okay, it is behaving this time. Uh, yeah, this first game is called Indivisible. And yeah, last time the sprites and voice acting just would not appear. Uh, for now, I'll just have to button mash. So, yeah, we'll give each of these games about half an hour each to see if they're any good. Though, from what I've heard, this one isn't going to be a definite yes, even though it is likely to be very long. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Beanie, yay, thanks everyone. Congratulations on popping Beanie's <laughs> raid cherry. Uh, I'm smoking my cigarette as we speak. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can guess from uh, the amount of damage that we're dealing to this thing that this is, well, it's a set loss. Oops. Except for this. Oh, that didn't go as intended. Okay, I was told that there was supposed to be voice acting here, or at least in the next part. But yeah, this game... At the absolute least, it looks really interesting. Yep. It is gonna be me. And hello there as well, Marco. Are you doing well? How is everyone doing actually today? Well, I hope. Okay, and now the tower has been turned into a shell. Hmm. And yeah, it's how to drop. Okay. Is it going to work from here on? 16 years later. At the absolute least, the just the art style is really in is really good. Yeah, and I would say this this was kickstarted. Okay. Good morning, Roti. <laughs> ah, what a lovely day to blow off practice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know, I know. I wouldn't really skip training. But it's so early. I can learn just as well in the afternoon, can't I? <laughs> oh, well, I guess we better head off before the old man explodes. Maybe we can beat him there this time. What, to exploding? <laughs> Okay. Oh dear. But yeah, one of the unique things is, like, do you remember in a game that feels like it mostly takes place in India and have anything to do with Hinduism and all that? None that I actually can actively remember, actually. If the orders, there are extremely low amount of them. Oh yes, a bale of sticks. What are you so happy about? I just love carrying sticks, you know. Why? Why? I always knew you were a weirdo. <laughs> Isn't it weird? Just thinking about uh, just thinking about how people are gonna use these sticks in their daily lives, burning them for kindling, using them to thatch their roofs, turning them into tiny taper stuff, sculptures, smacking other people with them. It just really <laughs> lets me know that uh, what I do matters. <laughs> that is one way to look at things, certainly. And it's. Uh, I guess that's a cool way of looking at it. Yeah, pretty cool. Now leave me to it, will ya? Come on. Sure thing, you carry those sticks. 
Uh, game definitely has a sense of humor already. And hello. Oh, it does. Who <laughs> too? You've got a long way to go if you want to get tough like me. I didn't say I wanted to. Long way to go. All right. Long. <laughs> okay. Preferably without the eye scar. Uh, Eka. I don't know how you handle all that stuff. I'm not good at in, no good in the fight. Maybe that's why Pen doesn't respect me. Who's Pen? Your wife? She's she's my dog. <laughs> Maybe if I just tried harder. Uh, it'll get better. She won't even look me in the eye. I gotta go by. <laughs> that's probably this dog here. Let's see. Training again on. Yeah. yeah. How would you pronounce that, Anja? We will hear it. We will hear it. Okay. You know it. All right, I was supposed to be hurrying. <laughs> I hope Inder knows what a good daughter he has. Yeah, me too. I'd love to have a daughter of my own someday. If you do, don't make her be on time for things. That is totally not good advice. Two <laughs> charts. Up, that's another two bales. You're always working so hard. And of course, if you want the village to thrive, you've got to give it your all. I can respect that. I just don't really love doing things or doing stuff. <laughs> Someday you'll find something you're passionate about, like me and lifting things. Yeah, maybe I will. Let's see, Marco. You heard that, Captain? You got a long way to go. <laughs> you want to be tough. It's not a long. Long yon silver yoke? Don't think so. Let's see. Save bell. Save menu. Okay, and then down. Okay. Oh. I forgot to dust that too, and it was a save bell they used. I thought it was a shrine. I guess it counts as a shrine. Uh. Yeah. I think, I think this is probably the only game I know of to have a save bell. Okay, wall jump does not require holding a direction. That is really good because that can re get really annoying. Uh, yeah. Oh, the game got deselected uh, for some reason. And uh, I was to say, you, you be saying it's good now. Just re ready. It's a warning. Um. Okay, this movement is stuck to the left. Okay. Uh, oh, but, but by looking up, we can get access to. Okay, that is nice. Uh, hopefully, the controls will unstuck themselves soon. Ha! Huh. Nobody, Nobody is. Uh, Who's slow now, old man? Oop. Yeah. Ajna, you're late. Okay, Ajna. Well, uh, you're late. You're. You're late. Enough nonsense, child. What? You smacked me! That's the nonsense! This is training, Ashna. If you'd been paying attention, you wouldn't have gotten hurt. I was paying attention. I just didn't expect a cheap shot from my dad. <sighs> Combat is rarely predictable or fair. Oh yeah? Then take this! <laughs> Don't deny I told you time and time again. You must never project your attacks. I know. I just get all fired up. One of your best and worst qualities. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hot-blooded teen. And a very strange one at that. <laughs> well, look who raised me. I suppose you have a point. That's right. Score one for Ashna. What you should be scoring is hits against your old dad. <laughs> oh, I'll score some hits, all right. With Mom's axe! <laughs> Oh, Ashna, didn't I just warn you about projecting your attacks? Looks like we're going back to basics. No, again? When you have learned to concentrate, when you can actually block my strikes, maybe then we can talk about Mother's Axe. Really? Really. A solid defense is the root of any proper combat strategy. From there, your true potential blossoms. Right, that stuff. Let's do it! 
Activate flowering defense. I thought she was going to attack with the actual axe. Not an axe kick. <laughs> yes. Is, is this you know, does the combat sort of have a old school Final Fantasy feel? A bit. Yeah. Okay, but with more seem added. Modified. Yeah, modernized. Well, how's that? Not bad, huh? Hmm. I expect better. You expect better? Who says that to their kid? I just want you to improve, Ashna. You'll never reach your full potential if you don't listen. I listen. Ashna, calm down. No, I'm coming all the way up. How do you expect me to talk to you when you're like this? You want to act like you can't talk to me when I'm like this? When do you ever talk to me anyway? Ashna. No, you know what? We're talking about this now. Must we go through this again? Okay, how about an easy one, huh? Where are you from, Dad? How old are you? Why won't you even tell me that? <sighs> Can't answer? Okay, let's increase the difficulty. How did Mom die? I don't even know what she looked like. Your mother and I, we... Now is not the time. Then when is the time? Don't I deserve to know? Listen, child, I am your father. It's not for you to lecture me. I'm the teacher here. If you're my dad, then act like it! Your anger is getting the better of you, Ashna. I'm going home. You may join me when you've cooled off, and only then. Okay, she's definitely spunky. Dad, you can't just walk out on this conversation. And he's gone. Great. Who's supposed to be the child here? Ugh, he's so frustrating! But... I better go apologize. I guess. Dad, wait up! Yep. And the controller is still stuck to this. Wait. Isn't? Nope. Ah, there. Apparently, one of the protective covers on my controller came off at some point, but that doesn't fix the fact that my con the controls are still stuck going that way. Like, what is causing that? No buttons are being pressed. So, yeah. Uh. Okay, so our two difficulties not with the game, but your hand controller? No, the, uh, let me disconnect it for a second, see if that fixes it. It's... Okay, let me reconnect it. Uh. No, it's... With the game, it looks like. The game is just stuck moving to the left. Yep. That is twice now that this game has glitched in a rather hard way. So, if it is going to be this unstable, then it will be practically impossible to actually stream it. Yeah, like, I think you're also supposed to be able to use the uh, keyboard as well on this. And again, it's it's not the controller; it's the game itself that's stuck with the controls. Let's see. Maybe we re oh. reload checkpoint. No, that does nothing. If we quit game and restart again, maybe that will fix it. it. Again, Marco, it's not the controller; it's the game that's stuck. Yep. Now let's go, uh, Let's. Okay. Okay, there we go. So it can okay. be unstuck easily enough by restarting, but if that happens too often, that is going to be a real nuisance. Yeah, especially when it's a... Basically, two... two no, not two. Twenty-hour-long game. Almost lost a zero there. Okay. But, yeah, you can definitely see that it is Kickstarter material. And just all of the detail in the backgrounds and such. Okay. Yeah, if I'm right, they they got way more money than expected. Hello. Morning, Ajna. Yeah, uh, how about lending me a hand with the crops again? 
I'd love to, but you know I gotta go train first. Oh my, isn't that usually a bit earlier? <laughs> no, I'm on time, I think. Oh, I better hurry. Oh, Asna, it's the same every day with you. Okay, did, I, did this reset us to before? Okay. Let's see then. But yeah, it, I want to stream this game, but if it's going to keep having technical difficulties, that's going to, well, make it difficult. Yeah, like, I mean, the car was in one bot had minor technical difficulties, but he was able to solve them. I think he actually abandoned it almost at the finish. Due to, it got too difficult for him. Not to, not to, to bugs or anything, just... He basically rage quit due to how hard it was for him to do the final boss and all that. Okay. And I think he also really struggled with the jumping parts. Let's see. We'll just have to skip However, through this bit. This was years ago, so they may have passed it out uh, for all we know. Okay, and now we go follow after. There. Oh. Over right. <laughs> Get a crap out of marker again. He sure is fast for an old uh, guy. Wait, is that smoke? And it's coming from the village. What's happening? Oh no, Dad could be down there. Well, it wouldn't be an anime like his game. Without uh, something going wrong with the hometown. Don't worry about saving over the same slots. Each slot keeps up to 200 saved games. Okay. Oh. That's uh, a lot of saves you can have. Yeah! Dad! Are you... Oh no, this looks bad. It looks really bad. You... What have you done? So, the old man had a child. I'll allow you to say your goodbyes, but your life is forfeit. Heretic. Hush the... Ashna, you're strong. You're the best student I could have asked for. And the best daughter. I know I've been hard on you. I know I haven't been the kindest father, but... Things are only going to get harder. You have to... Don't worry about all that right now. I just need you to be okay. I'm sorry. You were right. There's so much I need to tell you. Dad, save your strength. I'll beat this guy and we'll get you fixed up. I want to tell you everything. I know I should have from the start. But don't worry, Ashna. Death isn't the end. Gather friends around you. Become stronger. I'm sure you can... You can... Dad! Dad! Come back! Save your tears for someone who cares, girl. Your life ends now. For the glory of Lord Ravanovar! You killed my father! You burned our village! As I should have. A village that interferes with Lord Ravanovar's vision does not deserve to stand. The people of Ashwat are strong. We'll rebuild, and your violence will have been for nothing! There will be no one left to rebuild it. There's me. I've trained every day, ever since I could crawl. And if you want to fight, I'm bringing it to you! Come and get it! Let's see. Okay, who is this Ravanavar? And... Give up while you can, girl. 
All those who oppose Lord Ravanovar's perfect world will perish by my hand. I so swear it. Burning innocent people's homes? That's your idea of a perfect world? There. Here. For some big shot, he's getting his ass kicked. Up. By a village girl. A village girl like you couldn't possibly understand. This is part of a larger plan. Well, your plan is evil, and I'm stopping it right now. Yeah, yeah, bigger plan bullshit. Two more hits, and your part in the plan is over. Not so big now that you're fighting one on one, are you? You haven't bested me yet, girl. The health bar says different. What? Uh. Witch! With what magic have you imprisoned me? Imprisoned? Come on and show yourself, coward! You're the coward, spiriting me away with your village magic! Shut up! That makes no sense. And you're so loud, it sounds like you're screaming directly into my mind. <laughs> well, I'll find you. I just gotta concentrate. Let's see? Oh, hello. <laughs> what is this place? I'm inside myself? I... Shut up! How? And why are you here? That's what I'd like to know. Well, this doesn't change anything. I'm still gonna destroy you. Try it. <laughs> what? My fists won't connect. <laughs> Wherever this is, if I can't kill you, I'm leaving you here. Goodbye. But I... I told you to shut up! <laughs> Okay, this is going to be interesting. We're going to have the evil general for our Navi. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm back. Poor Ashwat, my village. Everyone. What will we do? What should I do? I guess... I guess I have to bury Dad. So we basically uh, spirit Father, pokeballed him. I'm so sorry I wasn't with you. Maybe I could have helped. Maybe you wouldn't have had to die. Please know that no matter how tough things were between us, I loved you anyway. I'm gonna make you proud. I'll get stronger. I'll find out what it is you wanted me to become. Believe that. <laughs> Your father fought bravely. As a warrior, I recognize. Shut up. Do not get to talk about him ever. We're gonna find this Ravanovar of yours now. He'll answer for what he's done here. And you can either help me get to him, or you can rot in there. Rebuilding the village will have to wait. Oh, I'll bring you to him as a trophy. We'll see who makes a trophy of who. We're following your army's trail till we find him. <laughs> okay, this is certainly going to get interesting. <laughs> yeah, and there's more. Uh, uh, with luck? We may meet you possible, I guess, what might become your favorite character soon. Yeah, the, the, the pirate with the cannons? Actually, that would probably second. I, I barely remember her, sadly enough. I only remember the one you may meet soon. Okay. Uh, let's see. Da -da. Uh, Marco Inder is calling his child a disappointment, and it reminds me of my mom. Just use a keyboard. You gotta do the training again. Yeah. The... Oh shit! Big Smoke is here. <laughs> uh, he's gonna eat. Big Smoke visited the village and ruined it by making too big of an order at the clock and bell. And for people who don't get that, that's a San Andreas reference. <clears throat> oh. Welcome to the Shadow Realm. Unknown, I choose you. Uh. <laughs> Not so fast. 
Ooh, oh, oh, that's a lot of health damage. Oop. Oh, so you can come out after all. Under certain conditions, it seems. I'd rather not die stuck in your head, so I propose a truce until I can return to Lord Ravanovar. Ah, this is so frustrating! <laughs> I can't get rid of you, I can't kill you, and now you can come and go out of my brain as you please. Trust me, if I could leave, I would. <laughs> Let's see. I recognize the voice actors, and I feel like those two voices have talked to each other many times in all the franchises. Let's see. How to play the Har. Enhancing attacks. The Har can store up to 12 charges of Earth and Fury, which enhance his other attacks. Okay, down and attack. Like that. Okay. The Har. I'm going to say like Dar. Dar also works. Okay. The whole the whole thing will be the song to Earth the Hunter. <laughs> okay. Health up on the <clears throat> minus twenty-six. Okay, uh red, oh return. Uh pressed it. Uh, enter works as well. Okay. Yeah, this this could uh, this is Outside of the technical difficulties we've had twice now with this game, I am really interested in it. So, and we have also hit the 25 minutes on this. So, um. so we'll have to wait with meeting that character you mean for when we would fully stream this game. <laughs> okay. Okay. He, he, he is in the, tra uh, in the intro, actually. Let's see, the, the one with the long hair. The one with the tiger hood, the girl pelt. Okay. The tiger hoodie. All right. So that's the first game for today done. Let's oh, move on to the second. Big mistake. So I, I have the feeling that we have showcased this one before. Uh, if the game would... If OBS would... There we go. Ion Fury. We have not showcased this before, but I feel like Yumi has, may have seen the same YouTuber reviewing this. Okay, I have played through this game before, and let's see, we have just a bunch of difficulties, let's see, First Blood, great for new players and those who just want to have fun, Wanton Carnage, the intended experience for the average player, Ultra Viscera, a highly challenging mode for veterans, and Maximum Fury for you die a lot and then uninstall the game, thanks for playing. <laughs> But yeah, this is 3D Realm's latest game, and it is built, it is made with the build engine, the same engine that Doom and such run on. Yeah, the fun fact, or brown fact, it was supposed to be named Iron Maiden, but... Yeah, Iron Maiden company, got issue with that. The, the, I don't know about them, or the music company who owns I, Iron Maiden, who had an issue with it. Uh, either one of them. For now, though, let's start on medium. And let's start the timer. <laughs> I don't remember Bring the disc of things. Neither do I. But if we can patch in it later. There we go, the all seeing eye and I just can't fit a grenade launcher in my bag. And things are going to shit right away. Uh yeah, like like with old game. Yeah, like with all build games, what is actually the story or lore is actually told side and separately. Basically, after a long day of work, our main character here, I'm actually blanking on her name, was looking to, well, relax and then, well, cyborg apocalypse. No, apocalypse. Let's see. Yeah, not that way, because that's certain death likely. Ammo for the lover boy, which is our three barrel pistol here. Um. I 
three barrel revolver. And these are the standard enemies we'll be seeing. Uh, come on. Yeah, I know the I know the alt fire does something, but I forget what. Or okay, I need to release it. It's just it's basically like a, a dead eye mode in Red Dead Redemption, I'm guessing. Let's oops. take that. And yeah, this, this game is ba oh. this game is basically the build engine worked to its absolute maximum. Then also a bit modernized, I suspect. I suspect they updated the build engine to be able to handle this. <laughs> Blake Stone, yes. Bio oh, Menace, yeah. uh, Major Strike. I can't say I know that or Monster Bash, but Blake Stone is an old game. Not sure what that was about. Uh, access cards for the terminals like that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask, what, hmm? what's the point with a three barrel revolver? Shooting three rounds at a time. Yeah, but. Armor. What benefit does that give? Just more firepower, I presume, and well, just looking. Somewhat stupid and cool at the same time. Okay. Uh, where can we find an access card in here then? Or did I completely look over it? Pizza time? Okay, Kawabanga. Yes, please. Ready for pizza? Uh. Okay, seriously, where is the access card then? No one's using the hands. Nice. Let's see. Let's see. Map. You picked up a card. Did I? Oh, I see one there now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I saw you pick it up, but then you didn't notice. <laughs> And yeah. Think again, One. asshole. One good Oop. spill deserves another. Your blood for my drink. Want to take a guess who the voice actor for that character is? Uh, which one? The one who was on the screens. Oh god, I, I know Steve is saying the boss, but I don't want to forget who. It's, song, it's John St. John, aka Duke Nukem. Worthless consumer models. And Big the Cat, actually, as well. Yes, <laughs> Big the wait, Cat wait. is voiced by Duke freaking Nukem. You mean the most hated cat of them all? Yep. Oh, that must be a stain on his reputation. I think it's more hilarious than anything else. It's there's supposed to be secrets Ooh. hidden all over the place here, but I'm unlikely to find any of them. I don't remember. I forgot the voice actress for the main character here is a no one or if she only done this character here. You guys are the crates. What? Oh. Where, where did you two come from? Okay. Uh, and yeah, like with uh, Doom, you're. You are very quick to get hurt and die here, and you actually get hurt from running. Okay, that makes sense to be running over the grill and getting hurt. Yeah, what what, what do you expect to happen when you run over a grill? Yep. Altfire is good for getting shot, accurate shots, but less good for, well, avoiding damage. Like that. Okay. You're lucky I can't fit a 
grenade launcher in my bag. Also, I can't tell if she's using it, if she's saying bag or a word with a V instead. It means bag. Okay, it was on here. Okay. Alright then, take two. Okay, bowling bombs. This game's grenades. It's for the back in apparently. Uh, let's see. Anyone to play with with these? Oh. Yeah, boom. And yeah, we can just bowl with them, and they should seek out targets themselves. I think. Okay. Or not? Was I thinking of some other weapon in this game then? Sure. Find the armor. Take it, baby. Nice. Really? <laughs> uh. Yeah, this game is full of oh, interactables. Just for the app, just for the shit of it. I have. Speaking of shit, so is my aim. Uh, if, if you thought Doom was going fast already, this is going even faster. And go. Uh, oh, you were hiding in there. Okay, I'll take this then. Shotgun. It wouldn't be a first-person shooter without his shotgun. And if I remember correctly, the secondary fire of this... Me. Does it even have a secondary fire? And still dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, if we do stream this game, <laughs> it'll be uneasy. I have beaten this game on this difficulty before. <laughs> but I think we can call it there for this one. Yeah, and uh, something to make me suspect that last time you played this, you were not streaming it and commentating. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also distracting, of course. Uh, let's see, Marco. I'd say this would be a main quest. I know this one. I even remember some of the cheats that don't affect the game or gameplay at all. Yeah, what, what were they doing in the women's room? Uh, the access card is on the arcade. Yeah, you missed two secrets so far already. See, <laughs> like a, uh, so as much interactables as Max Payne. Uh, I think I think this game has it beat there. And you don't get the secondary fire until later in the game. Okay, I think the secondary fire basically works like a grenade launcher. But, yeah. Uh, whether we would stream that game? Uh, nope. Why is that? Uh, I'll leave that mostly to you, Drakir. For now, we're moving on to number three. Uh, I'm leaving yes. And yeah, this game is not called Jackass, it's called Jack Axe. Okay. I know, yeah, as you can see, I know nothing about this game. Other than that, it's 2D and a tad cutesy. So let's start that timer again. And. Oh, oh it's multiplayer as well. Okay. Old. Uh. Let's go with Stan. <clears throat> Let's see, red. 
Oh, how exciting. It's been ages since we escaped the workhouse. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Ah, should I send something bad? The bunking gang's raiding today. Why aren't they back yet? They always worry. They've probably gotten caught up in the pillaging. We played with all the boys and we're good at hiding. Let's play tag one again? Hide and you will never find me. Hey, that's my... <laughs> okay, tag and steal. Uh... I just happen to eat an apple at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so what is the deal? Oh, there you are. Remember when you used to drown? When we used to ground pound on rocks like these? <laughs> wow, you're still really good at it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it is going to be. It's a bit of a Mario-like platformer, perhaps. Inside as well is where I used to hide. It's a lot bigger than you think. Oh, that's definitely a lot bigger. Okay, we can't ground pump those. Uh, Marco, I think the exit message said, are you a wuss? I'm pretty sure it does say that, yes. Yeah, I mean, it has become known to... kind of insult you for quitting. It's this game, I almost only want to say yes for... It's charming. Yeah, a little bit of more unique way to of a tutorial. Yeah, maybe not unique, but it is putting more into it than just uh, do this for that. I can't go any further. These purple spikes weren't here last time I went there. there. I went here, but yeah, it seems to be one hit kill on those you know, bra brambles and such. Let's see, there's a big ass gem there. Let's see. Uh. That's not a joke we can make, especially when it's blocked by brambles. Hmm. I do want to... The gameplay looks fine. I'm just... How is... What is this going to be with the uh, story? Yeah, and like... Apparently Marco says yes already. Yeah, I'm curious on this sort of... For, so far the tutorial is showing good promise. Oh, there's something shiny up there. It does oh. look fun. But we definitely need to see the uh, uh, the story as well. <laughs> Jack Axe, get the axe. Yep. Speaking of story, the time has come. The prophecy of the purple plague has dawned. He who wields the cursed axe is tasked to get rid of uh, us. Uh, it, it, to get rid of us of this otherworldly evil. Uh, grammar. But before he takes the cursed axe. He must prove that he is worthy. Uh, we've already taken it, I think. Wait. I said he. You're a she. Women <laughs> are permitted to carry weapons. Well, fuck you then. And the cursed axe hasn't killed you? Well, this is most unusual. Ah, uh, yes. Ye olden ancestors who were sexist. <laughs> Go forth. <laughs> this axe opens up new possibilities. Explore the world and save it from destruction. But should you find the bunking man destined to wield this great weapon, be sure to hand it over, sweetheart. <laughs> Dick. Ooh, oh, okay, we just throw it like a boomerang like that? What is up there? There's something shiny there. Oh, it, it's a gem. Okay, not so, not so attractive now. Ax oh! That's how you get the gem! Okay. There we go. A rune, actually. Okay. But is there anything more up there? Uh, it looks like it might be more. Oh, yes, a wall. No. Okay. Okay, there. Okay, if we throw it sideways, we stick with it for a bit? No? Hmm. Okay. Oh. There we go. Oh, almost. And we can break those. Uh, can we... Okay, we can't destroy the fireballs with this. Oh, red has run off. 
And are these coins going to be our lives, similar to rings or such? Or currency? Oh, okay, those become active when you get close to them. Hmm. We, we do lose some when we die. Okay, using your weapon as a traversal tool? That could get interesting. Yeah, the chaos ever against a dust start. But just not with an axe. For a boss size, it also seems to be when we throw it. <laughs> Let's see. Where's Red gone? Good question. Uh, yep, ow. Someone else will take that. Okay. There, we 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 can just let the axe get that. There. You struck the beat. That was or you kill the beat and drop that. Anything? Oh. Okay, nothing there. Maybe there's something there later. Uh, maybe it's what? What is that? Arc jump? Or is that something I'm? It's something I'm accidentally doing. But what? How do I do that? Okay, items have gravity. <laughs> and her skull uh, is fragile. I should have seen that one coming. Yeah, that was going good. All right, I just had gravity, and you proceed to get yourself crushed. Yeah, but ow. Like, yes, she has a helmet. But don't be a helmet protects for an entire crate falling upon your head. Looks like crates don't really hold any items or such, so no real reason to go busting them. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, that one is a little bit tricky. There. Okay. There. Shortcuts. Is this supposed to be a bit of a Viking Mario? Looks like. Uh, oh, blood heck, the beats are flying. Let's see. Uh, you don't get the second it's a side quest thing as far as I see. Runes are the collectibles of this game and I believe there's a reward for collecting all of them. Yes, the coins are like the rings from Sonic. Uh, don't you remember you're playing hide and seek? Remember Red went to hide and you have to seek her location. Yeah, true, but her path was blocked by the, the purple things. And she might have found somewhere else to hide. Let's see if she's this way then. Checkpoint. Oh, I almost jumped into that. Oop. Yeah, I got this kind of agree with the mark to have this as a side game. Yeah. Oh, side quest. Just, yeah, you just need to do some mining investigation, I guess we should do. To see how long it is. Now. Yeah, there's a room there. Up, and I jumped right into that one myself. Okay, we can throw this thing diagonally as well, it seems. Okay, 
That's a really small gap there. Mm. Uh, you need to be very precise. Or we just do this. Okay. Oh, damn it. And I ran into oh, the brambles. I'm gonna grab some ice cream. Let's see. The game is 10, 13 hours long. Okay. Also, uh, if... Ah, oh, damn it, rushed. If this axe is cursed, what's the drawback of it so far, then? Wait, this game is 10, 13 hours long. Is it really a side quest game if it's that long? There, rune. Okay. Uh, Wait. Hmm, are we supposed to rush this? Yep, yep. Just the bonk noise. Okay, hmm. Okay, so if we're fast enough, those don't actually do. Wait, is it. Is it the axe that triggers these things? I think. It, yeah, it looks to be reacting to the axe. Okay. Hmm. That is curious. Okay. Uh, then we can. Okay. Then I know which way we're supposed to actually go now. And okay, that was just the way back. I know which way red went then. Back to where the blocks were before. Okay. I faded out room to show that we have gotten that one before. So, besides health, what use are the uh, coins going to be? We have time to travel. There. Hmm. Okay, if red wasn't there, where are they then? Um, this way then. Okay. We can throw, throw this diagonally as well. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was a something down there. Uh, oh. Okay, those are going to respawn. Okay. Oh, that's... Ooh, that... No. Hmm. That's going to be a tricky one. Ow. No. Where is it? Take a look below. Yeah, there's the breakable. We can jump down here, but we can't get through these without ground pounding them from above. And this oh, right. still right. isn't where... This isn't where red is. So where did they go? Also, I'm overthinking this one, I think. 
there. Good. Ow. Okay, luckily we don't die if we're out of coins, it seems. Ow. You accidentally did the optional collectibles area? Yeah. Sound effect of a door slamming shot <laughs> on our opportunity to progress. Ah. Does it sound like a door? It sounds more like someone punching a punching bag. Very hard. If we jump away from the wall, then there, we're going to likely hit the top spike. Or the other top spike. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should abandon this room. I think this is a, just an optional room. Let's give it one more shot. Mm. Okay. But where is red then? Coins most likely. We are doing the optionals because we are trying to find reds. We only will be doing the optionals by mistake. We could go back up here. Wait, there's something here. Wait. Okay, we can do that by pressing down an X. And but instead of the throwing the axe, we throw ourselves. Okay. There. What's in here? Silence. Remember, gravity. Ancestors used to travel using manual shrines. Oh, manual saving. Remember, you can create save points anywhere in the map. Right trigger to save. <laughs> it's a floppy disk. Okay. Hmm. Now I am starting to get a bit lost as to what we're supposed to actually be doing and everything. Uh, Marco, do you remember where Red is hiding? Or if we even need to find her again? Uh, that's the bounce. They cost coins though. Apparently they don't cost coins. Hmm. Okay, the, the game is cutesy and all, but... If it's not going to give much further guidance as to what we're actually supposed to do other than probably collect runes. Uh, okay, okay, the manual saves cost the uh, coins, all right. Okay. Uh, but Marco, do you remember where Red is hiding? Or are we just uh, supposed to just go, yeah, go wild right now and try to find whatever we can? Yep, thought so. Yeah, but you repeat the said that we keep going doing the optionals. 
Is this insert help? Does it help me very much? Okay, we need 100, 100 coins to open that up. Crazy. Hmm. She's still okay, in everyone's... the... Still in the fountain? I'm lost. I'm pretty sure we've seen everything in the fountain now. Hmm. Unless we missed something. We have the exit, we have this way. been that way. Hmm. If we're going to have to grind coins to get into some areas, that's going to be a real nuisance. This is where she was lost, but she's not there. This is where we got the axe. Is it in the fountain? What? Okay, just pausing there for the uh, tutorial. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know where the hell she could be. I'm pretty sure we've seen each and every bit of the fountain now. Look that there might be a pause on the other side. Let's uh, resume. Do we have a map or anything? It looks like every death costs nine coins or something. Hmm. Yeah. So, the only place I can think of that she could be then is the optional area that we were in before. We can't jump down here or anything. There doesn't seem to be anything on the walls here. So where could she be then? And yeah, just much it's easier to just here. jump there. I, I would have said yes to this game, but this part? Were we now are lost? I don't know where red is. I guess it's hiding. I didn't see, Kyo said she. Oh, he wrote something. I'm not going to read that because it's just the same thing repeated over and over. Hmm. Yeah, I have I have no clue where we're supposed to progress now. You know, we, we, like, are we just supposed to continue where we started to go, or...? Marco is making it sound like we still need to find her. But we can't find her. So... Wait, uh, unless there are... Is this one of those cases where there might be a hidden wall? Just say where she is, Marco, or we're calling it off on this one. We only have like 40 seconds anyways. Ah, okay, they don't know for they haven't played this in a while. This is fair. Okay. And hello, Rom! Hey, oh, hey Rom. I've never played this game. Wait, what? I've never played this game. Oh, I thought you said you have played this. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is Jack Axe, not Jack Axe, Jack Axe. And Hello, yeah, we were supposed to be finding someone. Wait. Hello, my name is Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jack Axe. Oh, good gods. Okay, and there goes the timer. So, hmm. Beat the level and then we're done. That is not really a level. It's more like an area for collectibles. And, yeah, I was going to say yes on this one, but, yeah, if we can't make any progress, actually, we have 100 
coins now, so let's go to that door that required that many. Yeah. It might be good to put it on maybe and do some research for... It shouldn't be... Like, getting stuck on fine hair shouldn't be that hard and as well... If you're supposed to find her in there... Then you kind of feel that we should not be able to go over here to begin with. And we've covered every part there, so... Either she is in some area that we can't find for some reason... Or... Yeah, or it's, she's just not in there and we've been set free now. Um, okay, I, I guess the... I guess the deal with this game then is that uh, you just have to go find those runes and see what gets you that. And if that is all, then I'm going to have to say no on this one. Yeah, it seems to be interesting to have some. It seems to have some story in a very interesting dialogue, log in tutorial. But if that's it, in regard to story and theme, yeah, that's. That's gonna feel wasted. Uh, let's see. But yeah, maybe you could look it up uh, sometime uh, on uh, YouTube or something to do a big, deeper investigation. Yeah. So now we're moving on to the next game for which I need to use screen capture, <clears throat> display capture, and well, you already got to see what it was because GOG popped up. And I'm going to let this play out all the same still. I recognize this. Orange game. Game by oranges for oranges. And I don't see how that is supposed to make a P. A P. But anyways. Yeah, this is Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. I played this as a kid. I actually have to play this. <laughs> and it's not often that you get a, an intro where the hero quote unquote wins by running away. <laughs> uh. But yeah, this is a game that I played a hell of a lot back in my childhood. Not the Secret Files specifically, but yeah, a version of this game. I don't know if it was the full version or the free version, but yeah, just... <laughs> it was a version. Yeah. I don't remember, it... this game is hard. And yeah, as it said at the start there, this was made by Epic Mega Games, who are now known as, well... Epic Games. The guys who made Gears of War or Gears of Grey, depending on your perspective. And uh, this is the second uh, Jazz Jack Rabbit mark. Also, you know, the Unreal games until they got deleted. Yeah. Let's see. We have. Hmm. The Secret Falls, formerly a prince. Jazz in Time, very obvious reference. Flashback. Funky Monkeys, Home Cooked Levels, and the Shareware Demo. Okay, Which very obvious Doom. <laughs> it looked like a Doom slash Near Turtle reference. And yeah, we get yeah, to choose from three characters. And yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing unfortunate with this guy is that uh, his name is uh, a bit of a, a British slur for people who with physical uh, disabilities. So, yeah. The yeah, Lord, it seems new. Something that sounded funny and rhymed with jazz, but that wound up with that. Also, why is it about? What is it about? I think I'm. A, I think I'm at least partially a furry. Yeah. <laughs> but are you getting the hops for Lori the Rabbit? Not the first time. Fucking Crystal from Star Fox oh. and Lala Bunny didn't help. Uh, well, Lola Bunny was basically made as per bait. True. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, left, right, shoot yeah. with space. Uh, 
what is jump? Oops. Uh, let's see. Where is the controls on this? Let's see. This is an old game. Controls are... <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, Laurie isn't exactly helping me. <laughs> Turns out I'm into... It, fucking... Uh, funny girl. Okay, control is jump. But yeah, the whole thing up with this game is that it's basically, well, the rabbit and the hare, but uh, they've gone to war. The rabbit, you and, the hare, your but... the rabbit and the hare, yeah. really, Hillian? The... Uh, no, that is what, what the story is called. Oh, no. Right, hang on. Uh, no, it's rabbit and the turtle. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, constantly. hair is also another word for rabbit. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, just the basic gist is get through a level, get as many points, and survive. I'm feeling Rome even got things wrong. Yes, I did. Uh, hairs are bigger than bunnies. These are bunnies or rabbits. There we go, we get a higher jump if we stand still. No, press down and jump. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, dear gods. I'm probably yes. the only one with a brain here today. Congratulations on having a brain. Now none of us really know what the fuck we're doing. Let's see. Pull, spin you around so you can go even faster. Okay, first let's grab the ammo here. Jazz has a lot of weapon types. Well, not he has one weapon. But uh, yeah, he can swap between different one, uh, different ammo types. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, how do I swap between weapons, though? I gotta go for a bit. Mom called for a bit over. Okay. Go, so I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Best of luck. Uh, let's see. Does Alt do anything? No. Okay. Alt gets me into the menus up up the top of the little screen, because once again I'm dealing with a very small screen, while you all get a bigger screen. Yeah, and now you summon the arrow to the screen. Yep. Uh, let's see. I, been, I know there's something... Oh, okay, we can just break those? Okay. I thought that you'd have to find a switch or something, and... Yeah, it, it wouldn't be an old <laughs> platform without some sort of hover ability. Okay. Uh, I believe there's a way to get to those coins. Some sort of hidden pathway somewhere here. Would that one have attacked me with the sword there? Very likely. Very likely. With your luck. But, yeah. A cool game that I grew up with. There. Wait, I, I can't grab the carrot for some reason? Yeah, I also grew up with this game for a short while. Uh, yep. I think I had a cartoon. Jack in the box for the checkpoints. Oh, bonus. Need 12 more of the silver coins for that. Okay. There's a one-up up there. Hmm. Uh, there's one cartoon where there's a green rabbit. Is this not him? Another one. But I think he, this one also had a cartoon. I don't remember if Jazz Jack Rabbit had a cartoon or not. I know there was an attempt at a third game, but that went nowhere. Because, well, I've said this plenty of times before, and I'll say it again. They didn't do a uh, they didn't do a test run without the main care with without their main franchise. So it just yeah, it turned to nothing. They didn't do a tonic trouble. I know we we can die, but I'm blanking on how many hits we might take before that. Oh, these blocks are ammo type specific. 
So they will only be destroyed up. They will only be destroyed by the ammo type that is depicted. Uh, what have we here? Got more ammo. Ooh. Gold coin. Oh. And accidental <laughs> discovery. Uh, let's see. I believe if we, I believe if we collect enough fruits and such, that we get a sugar rush. Uh, let's see. Bot stomp the metal box to open key blocks. Okay. There. Uh, okay. Yeah. Not much of a game with story, but still a, a fun little old shooter. And well, the music is just really good as well with most of this game as well. No. Oh dear. Uh, let's see if we can get to the boss. How should we even got to the bosses in this game? Give me that. Okay. I'm guessing that the the carrots heal. Uh, I'm guessing that the carrots heal our hit points. Yep. There we go. Not what the guy wants, but uh, well. Taking bats. I think the bats will just respawn. There's not too much use in killing them. And I, yeah, I think this. I think it, there's sugar rush. <laughs> I, I forget specifically what it does. I I think it's in invulnerability for a while. Oh, to beat the uh, to beat the queen, shoot her off the ledge. Uh, it, we have to slowly drive her back by shooting when she is it well when she's screaming or stomping dodge the bricks out Slowly driving her back. Out of bouncy ammo. And yeah, this, the, ba uh, the bats respawn. Yeah, almost. Yeah. And there we go. Oh, now I see. In the upper right, there's the hell. There's the hearts. Okay, so we're one hit away from death there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Marco, try control. I won't be chilling as much since my older brother wants me to teach him how to play a game on the computer. Okay. Good luck with that. Different ammo. This is a flamethrower. What the? Uh, okay, I heard of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but a Leaning Castle? The, the entire castle is leaning. Yeah. Oop. Um. Uh, let's see, a flame weapon can be used to melt ice. Because this is frosted. So there. And one up yet. Okay. Give me that. Stomp that. And that should. Yep, cause those to appear. Um, now we need to get up on them. There. Yeah, speed and momentum is quite a thing in this game as well. Not like Sonic. But it can help you jump better, I believe. Yep. 
and your speed can also be a bit of a detriment if you're going faster than you can control. This way. And yeah, carrots heal health. There. Oh, hello, birdie. You are something special, I believe. Yeah. Uh, ah, okay. We can swap weapons with the with the number keys. Uh, can we get in there? Yes, we can. It's nice that the it's nice that, nice that your character leaves a trail like that, so you can actually keep track of them when they're behind the foreground. Yeah. And yeah, the bird will just shoot with you, or shoot for you. That, but I think they will leave if you take a hit. As usual. Hey, back up. Oh, welcome back. Buy... Welcome. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, but I gotta go. I gotta buy food. Okay. And yeah, there they go. Okay, yeah. see you later, hopefully, for uh, evening stream. Yeah. I'll and see you guys later. See ya. Is it oh, wrong? Yeah, Thank you for your name. Wait, what? No, I was gonna say, Drakir, brush up on your noir tropes and your ability to understand how an investigation works. <laughs> We've been playing bloody Ubra Jin. I think I can handle it. Have you ever <laughs> interrogated someone in Ubra Jin? No. No, but I have interrogated many people. Fair enough. Well, anyways, good luck. See you guys See later. Ya. See ya. And thank you for being here, of course, as always. Yeah, no yeah. worries. <laughs> Again, no, not enough coins for a secret level or a secret thing. And yeah, if we shoot those things off of their little flying copters. We can get uh, a bit of flight from it, if we hurry. But yeah. As fun as this game is, I don't think it'd be much for streaming, since yeah, yeah, there's uh, not much story and such. But yeah, if you can get your hands on it, I would advise giving it a shot. And while it's on GOG. Let's finish off this level and then we'll probably call it. <laughs> There's Buff Tortoise. Okay, is that close enough? Not close enough. A little bit up. Too close to the turtle though. And again, I believe turtles and tortoises are technically are different species. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, related, but yeah. Tortoises mainly land. Turtles mainly water. And yeah, of course, with this type of game, the further you go in with the levels and such, the tougher things get. You even go to freaking hell. Yep. I just realized it's easy in Swedish to differentiate them. Land Kolpada and Haps Kolpada. Okay. First one being land uh, tortoise and. The second one being sea turtle. You. Zoom. And yes, Pada literally translates to word for word shield toad. Yep, secrets. Oh. Hello, what's with the special carrots? Oh. Okay, uh, we can use that. Yes, thank you. That. Okay. And yeah, this game also has multiplayer, mostly in races and combat, I believe. Uh, but I believe it is limited to two player. 
because, well, back in the day of this game, uh, internet wasn't really that, uh, yeah, wasn't really that much of a thing, so it was mostly just local play and such. There were some, but they were very localized as well, like within a campus and such. Yeah, land basically. Local area network. Yeah. There, we got that. But I think some were able to do it for a far distance, but again, it was very ish and almost experimental. And yeah. slow. <laughs> Super duper secret. Not that secret. Oop. But that was a secret, and they hit a tel hidden teleporter. Not a okay. One of the earliest uh, PC D&D games. In, in a way, in MMO. It was a very... The most primitive version of one, you can say. Okay. Again, not enough points for that. There's a bird and a tower up there. I'm guessing the I'm guessing the shop would have teleported us up there, since we can't jump this, I believe. Yep. There's a big ass gem up there as well. I believe that's also a game mode for multiplayer. Just get as many gems as you possibly can, more than the other. Right, not to die. Yep. There, thank you. Makes that easier. Yep, hello. Boss, or mini boss ish. I don't feel like that flay should be working like that. Yep. Yep. And yeah, uh, how far back is this? Very far back. Uh, yeah, very. Oh, yeah, yeah, I missed a few checkpoints, I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Think we can leave it on that then? But yeah, fun game. Probably not so much for a stream, though. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, the, the turtle there, that's the uh, villain of the series. So the duology, maybe more, since, well, the game stopped after this one. Hmm. Would be fun to see Jazz Jack Rabbit return at some point. Though I very much doubt it would be a revival similar to Doom or anything. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. We have let's, time for let's a be bit honest. more. I don't think. Uh... Epic Games currently would hand, uh, do it the uh, justice. Yeah. Okay. That's four games. We have room for one or two more. I say one or two because I don't think this one will take up a lot of time. Five um, hours later. Lion Gate. Yeah, John Wick Hex, which is one of the multiple uh, Hex slash Go games. Okay. When the hell did he get the game? Let's see. You will have only five seconds to choose your next action on Expedited, so let's not go with that. Let's go with Operator. Core game as designed. Reset and start the timer. Some time ago before Helen. John fucking Wick. Indeed. Fuck. He's quite the imposition, is he not? 
Surely you must have known our disappearance would not go unnoticed. I'm sure. I assumed your high table would try. Put up a contract, send someone sniffing around. I didn't think they dispatched the devil. I presume our present location is not on any maps. None. Nobody knows about this place. That's probably why your friend started searching at Edgar Wu's place in Chinatown. Mr. Wu is in your employ. He was. He ran everything south of 14. Made no secret of our relationship. Hell, he was proud of it. I honestly believed that Hex, you, were a fiction, a myth, to keep the stuff in line. I worked hard on that, staying out of sight. Until you decided to kidnap us. Yeah, until then. You have a higher purpose. And that purpose requires certain theatrics. I always did enjoy a little theater. Okay, there's more to this game than I thought, because uh, the, the Go games that I mentioned before were mobile games with Tomb Raider and Hitman, which were, well, similar puzzle games to this, I believe. But this is a lot more... This Yeah, this is a lot more involved, so uh, I retract my comparison of this to the Go games. Let's uh, see. I should probably say this. I have not seen any John Wick movie. Same, actually. I actually end up avoiding it. Ooh. Action timing and interruptions. All actions take different amounts of time and are displayed on the timeline at the top of the screen. The game pauses whenever your action completes or when you are interrupted. Interruptions are caused by a new enemy appearing, an incoming attack, or by your action becoming impossible. <clears throat> an indicator points to where an interruption originated. Okay. And there's someone there. It does not see us. So can we get up behind them and take them out then? Oop. Click on an enemy with the left mouse button to interact. Actions have ranges to perform a melee attack, get closer. Enemy actions are also displayed on the timeline below yours. Plan using the information they provide. Okay, they're just going to stay there the whole time. So the throw gun, really? Move. Okay, strike it takes that amount of time, two, deals two damage. Okay, take down. Oh, wait, there. Okay, striking would. Uh, let's see, it deals two points of health damage and two points of the other type of damage. We could push and we can take down, which takes the most amount of time but deals with them in one shot. And well, we could off with. We could take a shot. Which would not take them out. So there we go. Okay. Striking an enemy does focus and health damage. Melee attacks also stun enemies. The duration of stun is shown on their timeline bar. Okay. So he is out for a certain amount of time. Let's take his pistol. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely... A lot more involved than I thought it might be. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I, I respect Keanu Reeves, the actor of uh, Johnny Vick. I almost forgot the name of the damn film. But again, I, I'm kind of avoiding or not sort of watching for I've seen through so many times, but I now realize there's several movies now. Yeah, and they're working on number four, I believe. Uh, I know it was one, then I saw the three for fourth, and they just go, wait, fourth? But the other, what did the two and three go? But I, let, let's be honest here, people. It has been memed and overhyped to death. Let's see. Intros and executions. All attack actions displayed on the timeline have an intro area, grey which denotes preparation time. Damage and costs are applied at the start of the execution area, pink. Actions may contain multiple execution points. Each one applies damage individually. Okay, so yeah, it takes a bit of time to take aim and such. Ooh. 
We have a 40% chance to hit you. Nope. 100% chance to hit you. Then 80% for you. They missed. Or we both missed. Oop. Your ammo is low. You're low on ammunition. If you are holding magazines, you can reload. Reloading takes time, so choose a moment carefully. Otherwise, pick up a dropped or stashed weapon. We picked up a bunch of... Or are we just... Okay, we're just swapping between pistols, it seems. None of them have a, an actual full magazine, apparently. There we go. We can watch the cinematic replay. As he just bonk, 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 turns around. <laughs> Swap a pistol. Okay. Yep. Okay, he missed the shot straight through our groin. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, it seems we took two hit damage from that, actually. Hmm. Okay, welcome to the map screen. You are playing across uh, larger environments. Health and ammunition persist, so play carefully. For future jobs, you will be able to plan ahead. Okay. We are here. Let's see. Clearest route to Edgar is along this alleyway. Tea house. Edgar's employees are aware of your approach and are readying an ambush. That is where we started, so this is where we need to go next. Okay. Oh, walk up behind. You remember in Random Fact to Learn today? No. Oh. Uh, you know Conan the Barbarian franchise? Yeah. The franchise is about 100 years old now. Yeah, yeah, I believe it started with comics or such. Uh, book. Okay. Uh, let's see. In Crouch the increase your 1920s. So as does waiting for them to stand still. Moving or being a small target lowers their chance of hitting you. Okay, we can just take you down, execute, then we shoot you, oop, never mind, we follow, now we shoot, you as well, that took a hit, uh, how do we crouch, oh here, chain stance, it hides us from them for the moment, Roll, and then shoot. There we go. Um, stand up. Pick this up. And move on. Let's go. There's some health to be gathered. Okay, so basically this, this, this is a bit... Oh, there's someone there. Let's change stance. Can we shoot? Yeah, we can shoot you from here. I was thinking about rolling out and then shooting. Okay. Let's change stance. Pick that one up. Nope. Firearm efficiency. Reloading discards all the remaining rounds in your magazine. You can only carry one weapon at once, so picking up a new weapon drops your current one. Only player stashed weapons have spare magazines. Bandages are also finite. Uh, yeah, speaking of, let's bandage up. Oop, bad timing. Okay. Uh, your health is low. Oh yeah, that definitely... Bandages are limited. After Chinatown, you will need to stash them yourself in the planning phase. Yeah, that was really badly timed there with the healing. What? Does this feel like this oh, game is trying to copy Transistor? I don't think it's that. It has a similar thing with the time stuff. Uh, take down this. Okay, we can move you somewhere. Uh, you, quickly shoot. Well, okay, maybe hit. let's copy more inspired, perhaps? Move here. Shoot you. 
Crouch. Roll. Up, out of range. Let's see, what is this with... Okay. Rolling requires focus. There. There. Okay, stand up. This one has 10 rounds in it. So let's take that. Move up. You. Let's see. We know there's a bunch all around the corner. Oh, Mark is back. Okay, welcome back. There's welcome someone. 50% chance. Oh, never mind. Pick those up. Move. Yep, took a hit. Change stance. Then we roll. And take it. Okay, get up. Move here. Bandage I up. Is, that is a, I don't think we're gonna make this into a series. Probably. But it but looks I, it's more interesting out. than I thought it would be, at least. Uh, that's all thing. I myself, are you zooming out on this one? And what the heck are the seagulls on about now? Okay, focus is spent on advanced melee and rolling. Without it, you cannot reload and your hit chance on multiple attacks are lowered. Incoming attacks are likelier to hit and stun for longer. Refocusing is free, but takes some time, so find a safe opening. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, stands, refocus. Okay, yeah, we should try to keep that up high. Okay, pick that up. And then we head out. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying starting to get a grasp of this. And uh, it it is similar to the Go games, Mark. I made that comparison myself earlier. Oop. But it is more, it's a lot more uh, complex than those. Enemies carry different weapons and have different behaviors. Pay attention to their names and the weapons they're carrying. Edgar's okay. boys are rather unpleasant, if I recall correctly. Who among our kind are innocent? We are murderers, thieves, and worse. Speak for yourself. We live by a code. There are rules. True. For those without the vision to transcend them. Okay, that one was going for melee. Crouching low covers allows you to break line of sight if you crouch. Crouch also gives you an opportunity to roll. Rolling is fast and you are hard to hit, but it costs focus. Yeah, we already figured that out. Pick that one up. Let's see. Okay, now we're getting some bigger openings. Um, chain stance. That one dealt with. There's someone in the corner there. Let's see. Oop, someone around here. It's a brawler. They're just going to move. Okay. There. Easy enough. Oop. That's security. Low chance to hit. So instead, let's hide here. Burn a bit of time to let them get closer. There's actually someone coming from around. Um, change stance. 80% uh, chance to hit on them. Let's do a roll. Then shoot when we have 100%. And we still... We got hit by you. Okay. Uh, roll away. Jane stands. Throw the gun. Stun them. Oop. 
Enemy strike incoming. You can dodge by stepping out of the melee capsule or do a parry attack. Both spend focus, but may help you find a moment to retaliate. Okay. Parry then. Oop. Someone else coming in. Uh, let's just strike you. Move forward and take down you. Okay, take down destination is where we will be going after the attack. Okay, new pistol. And the exit is over there. So let's just continue this way. Oh, hello. Take you out immediately. There's someone coming. Move. We crouch. Okay, they're not coming yet. Let's take a moment to refocus then. Uh, you can hear... Oh, there's... Oh, that's just this place that they spawn from. Let's see. Larger encounters. This fight will get dangerous quickly. Remember the timeline, use sightlines and play the odds. Remember that moving and crouching reduce your chance of getting hit. Good luck. Okay. Mm. Shoot them the moment they get out, too. Why the heck am I yawning? I know I'm still out this game, but yawning? It feels even, even harsher for me to do for this game. There, shoot you. Okay, and get the hell out because they are just going to keep coming. There. Okay, let's have a relook. Oh, complete the location with under four bars of health remaining. Okay, th this game could be fun, but yeah, not much for our streams, I'd say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> something wrong with your neck. Wait, what? The, the, the ragdoll just kept going. The, 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 the. Oh, I missed that. I thought you were uh, uh, right away to the chat before the uh, mog said something. <laughs> okay, they did not like being together. Uh. Yeah, that was me getting caught in between. Okay, it, it, this could be a pretty cool game, but I don't think it'd be much for us. Alright. Uh, that leaves us with 10 minutes left. So, yeah, I, I guess we... <laughs> I guess we can call it a little bit early today, then. He's kind of rare. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go look for someone to raid, then. Change the screen share. Uh, I would Twitch. be great Marcus Farm. <laughs> also, I, I probably should have done this long ago, but uh, when did I accidentally hit tab? Uh, shout out to Beanie Undead for the raid earlier. Uh, okay, that is broken, it seems. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I was watching them before the stream. They were playing uh, Alien Dark Descent, which is that um, uh, Alien XCOM-like. A pretty cool game from what I've seen. He's been playing it on the hardest difficulty on his first playthrough. His first playthrough with his second attempt at it. Uh, yeah, he, he's, a, he's a fun one to watch when he's streaming. It, it is a bit rare since he is a, he is a teacher after all. But he is on break now, so we will have a lot. He will have a lot more opportunities to go and um, stream. But yeah, for now, let's move on over here. No, we're not, Marco. Let's see. There's only a few people online at the moment. We have I'm nice with Wild Hearts. We raided them yesterday, so they are off the board for the moment. We have Sour Walrus, uh, Walrus with Final Fantasy 16. Kenai is once again playing Dungeons & Dragons online. 
And Kiri Natsuyoko is streaming Doom 2 Hell on Earth. And Horatius the Dwarf is doing... Let's see. Uh, okay, not a, a therapy stream or psychology stream at the moment or some. Typically have that they have that in their title. So I'm guessing they are... Yeah, they're doing pre-stream or something. A very, very long <laughs> pre-stream chat, I'm guessing. Um... Any of them, or shall we look for someone among the recommended? Yeah, let's take a look at the recommended. Let's see. We have Bean Goblin VT, who is streaming Aliens Dark Descent. <laughs> Wait, <There is> someone... <laughs> okay, let's go on call. You just talked about Beanie okay. playing Dark Descent. Now we found another Bean. Yeah. Playing the same game. Let's have a peek. It, oh, that's a bunch of pop-ups all of a sudden. Fundraiser and King of... this. There's something with that King of the Castle plugin or whatever that just keeps it on your stream just forever, it seems. With Beanie, it just refuses to be gone. And apparently it's still sticking around here as well. Uh, let's see. We have Delinquent Ghost. I have seen. think we've seen them before. They are also streaming Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, Valorant is of no interest, I believe. Taiga Tiger VT is streaming I'm Only Sleeping. Okay. Uh oh. I'm... <laughs> okay, they're doing a don they're doing a donathon, it seems, and they're this is just their sleep time. I I will never understand those uh things to just keep the timer going and going and going. I... Uh let's see. And I can also have some marathons, but Sabaton, but it just keeps going. Then people just extend the time. Yeah, that feels like an uh, like a bad idea. Okay. Then we have Hisaya Rosier, who is streaming Moon Hunters. And last but not least, Cobalt Sprig, who is streaming Power Wars Simulator. Any of those sound interesting? Moon Hunter? Sounds curious. I never heard of it. Okay. Uh, can't really tell what it is from the gameplay. Graphic novel ish, it looks like. Uh, but it has yeah, health, so I guess over. it's a hybrid. Let's see. I, I think you're just in a, a, a talk heavy part of it. But yeah, shall we go rate them then? Well, let's. Okay, copy the name. Go to our place and then slash rate paste. But before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you again, Beanie, for the raids. Thank you, Marco, for chatting along. And was there anyone else who actually piped up as well? Or did everyone just fall asleep after the raid? Uh, let's see. Woof, woof. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I recognize you from Beanie stream. And, yeah, of course, anyone else who was raided and didn't decide to chat, thank you all the same as well, anyways. And thank you, as always, Rick here. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And, yeah, with that, let's start up that raid. Okay, it's not blocked. And, yeah, later today, in about three hours is we are likely to be doing another stream. Uh... But not entirely confirmed. It just depends on if the people who are going, if the people press, uh, the, the people who want to partake in that are ready or not. And well, if nothing goes wrong with dinner and such. <clears throat> it, even though that has only rarely happened, it's still very likely, but not certain to have, be in another stream. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, until then, though, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for zombie seagulls.